Who is this false Jesus that this religious crowd likes to tell you about? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Don't go anywhere. So we are gonna go through a few things that this false Jesus um, that the world loves and that the religious crowd loves. We're going to go through a few of his attributes and uh, talk about them for just a few minutes. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with someone. Somebody out there may need to hear this. And uh, it's a very serious subject that we're dealing with today because it's leading a lot of souls to hell. Uh, this is a... Uh, this comes from a post that uh, a good friend of ours on Facebook uh, had shared the other day, and I just thought I'd make a video out of it because it's so true and so good. This false Jesus that this religious crowd likes to tell you about, uh, some of his attributes are, here's one of them, is he will allow everyone into heaven. Everybody can go to heaven. It's a uh, one of those Jesus died for everybody salvations. And uh, you don't have to do nothing. Just be a good person, have good morals, and you'll go to heaven. That's one of the attributes of uh, this false Jesus. Uh, another one is he came to bring peace and not division. That's completely opposite of what the Bible says. The Bible says he will put division in families, father against son, mother against daughter, so on and so forth. Because, uh, you know, when a person gets saved, it brings divisions between you and your family. Uh, because they don't see things like you do then if you're truly born again. Uh, another attribute he has is he doesn't require obedience. You don't have to obey the word of God. You just live your life the way you want to live it. Keep on living in your sin. And that hippie Jesus that everybody talks about, he'll take you on to heaven. That's exactly what we're dealing with in this day and age. This Jesus that this religious crowd is telling you about is... Another attribute is he doesn't require any holiness. You just be as carnal as you want to be, walk into the house of God just looking however you want to look, wear whatever you want to wear, and Jesus is okay with it. Well, let me tell you, he's not. Not the Jesus of the Bible. This Jesus here that we're talking about today, this false Jesus, yeah, he's fine with it. He loves all the hippity hop hop stuff and all the worldly carnal clothing and apparel. He loves it. But the Jesus of the Bible, no, 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 no. Another attribute of this false Jesus is he doesn't require repentance. No repentance required. You just live however you want to live and stay in that sin and sip that wine down and them wine coolers and praise God, you're going to still end up in the pearly gates. That's this false Jesus that this religious crowd tells you about. Another attribute of this false Jesus is he only preaches on love. Love everybody, love everything, love every sin, love is love. That's the kind of Jesus that this world loves. That's the kind of Jesus that this religious crowd likes for you to think Jesus is, but he's not that Jesus. <clears throat> um, another attribute of this worldly Jesus is uh, he never says anything to offend anyone. Never going to say anything offensive. That's the Jesus of this world. That's the Jesus that uh, this religious crowd loves to preach about. He will never say anything offensive. He's not going to say anything about your sin or places you shouldn't go and things you shouldn't wear and ways you shouldn't act and ways you shouldn't talk. He's not going to say nothing about that. You just be who you want to be. What's those church signs say? Come as you are. Praise God. That is so unbiblical. You don't come as you are. You come with a heart that's broken, praise God, and ready to repent of your sins and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and walk with him and his way is holiness. This false Jesus the world's telling everybody about is never tells anyone that they're wicked. He calls everyone his children. All, man, all of mankind is his children. That's the Jesus of this world. I'm here to tell you that's not the Jesus of the Bible. Uh, the Jesus of this world, um, another attribute of his is he will not send anyone to hell. And even a lot of the, the religious crowd even says there is no hell. 
Uh, that's the Jesus that they like. That heavy Jesus with the long hair. That's not Jesus of the Bible. But that's the Jesus they like to tell you that just loves you and he's not going to send you to hell. Um, another attribute of the Jesus the world loves is he wants you to do your own will. And that's exactly the opposite of what the Bible says. He says our will must die. We got to die daily. Daily we must die. And beg God to give us his will, not ours, not ours. He must increase and I must decrease. That's what the Bible says. Uh, another attribute of this Jesus is he only gives suggestions. He never gives commandments. And uh, this is the false Jesus the world wants us all to love. This is the false Jesus that's caused thousands to become believers, they call it. This is the Jesus that tells everybody that it's all right. You just live the way you want to live and uh, you'll get to heaven. You'll get to heaven one way or another. These people are still in their sins. They've never repented of their sins. They're walking straight towards hell as, as we speak. And just because they have a religion, just because they say that they are a Christian does not mean they're a Christian. And if you're in this boat, repent now and turn from your wicked ways. Because Jesus wants to save you, but you've got to come his way. And his way is through Calvary. And through Calvary, you're going to have to die. Your ways are going to have to die. You are going to have to repent and become what God desires for you to be. I hope this helps somebody. I don't mean to sound so mean, but I get tired of people trampling underfoot my Savior. My Savior's holy. My Savior is a holy Savior. He's not a Savior that's going to let you just keep on living in your sin. Praise God, he's holy. But anyways, hope everyone has a good weekend. And uh, if we don't see you before then, we'll see you on Tuesday night on live. Don't forget, 8 o'clock Tuesday night, we go live and try to teach something out of the Word of God. But until then, God bless and have a good weekend.